Hello lovelies, it's Mitch here. I'm just coming on to do Monday's guidance card reading and this will be a message that is collective and generative for the week ahead. Just want to say thank you so so much to everybody that has uh, come to support the Witches Market at the weekend, the May Magic Holistic Fair. It was a great day, we had some fantastic connections, some fabulous people, so thank you so much if you brought your magic or you were part of the magic in any way. Just want to say as well, thank you so much to everybody that's been dropping me a little message this morning. I had to cancel tonight's live with um, Simon Hobbs, um, or Hobbs, however you say it. Um, he's a fantastic reader, so do go and check out his group and his work. It's nothing personal to Simon, and we definitely will re-collaborate and do a different night at some point. Um, I'm just really tired today, guys. We're on a new moon cycle, so new moons, as a rule, they bring about change, they bring about transformation. But I'm not going to lie, the weekend was great, but it was also very, I, I quite a few of our um, sort of readers and healers and even storeholders, we were all sort of saying it really felt like we were having to hold quite a lot of sacred space for people. There was a lot of energy shifting. There was a lot of energy clearing. There was a lot of people needing to just process grief at the weekend. It was it was a magical day, but it was also quite a, not a heavy day as in negative, but there was just a lot of energy being released and so it's made me quite tired. So, um, you know, I always talk to my clients about self-love, self-care, TLC. And today is one of those days where I've got to practice a little bit what I preach. Hence why I'd be doing a little bit of a disservice to yourselves, to Simon and to Spirit if I was to try to push my way through alive. So it's just easier to kind of cancel it today. Um, and sometimes it's knowing your limits and sometimes it's just listening to your not just your physical body, but your spiritual body. And if you need to rest, it's giving yourself that permission to, to just rest. So I need to do that today. All right. So with that in mind, I've been doing a bit of self-healing this morning. So I thought I'm going to work with the Angel Guide um, Oracle today. So this is a beautiful deck of cards by Carl Gray. So channeling these for the highest of good. So let's just see what we need to know about. Let's just see what the message is for us this week, guys. Okay. Just want to say a few people have been asking me about my uh, up and coming demonstration at Westbury. Uh, same place that I did my witches event. That is on the 18th of June. There's still some tickets available. So if you want to be involved, if you want to come along to that, just pop over onto the website and you can book your tickets. I think I've got about 30 left now. Um... So hopefully that's going to sell out very soon. Um, so yeah, don't leave it too late to get involved if you'd like to come along. Ooh, we got the card of yes. So yes for the tickets. Definitely, guys, get booking those. What's interesting, when the card of yes comes up, it's listening. It's listening to your body and it's listening to the energy around you. And it's kind of responding to it in a way that works and serves for you. So whatever you maybe need to be saying yes to this week, take those opportunities, grab them with both hands because the wings are open, the hands are open to receive. But also, yes is sometimes sort of acknowledging and um, being aware of something energetically as well. So this isn't always like physically doing something. Sometimes this is listening to the energetic lines around you and responding with yes as and when is required but as a rule you know yes is positive it's usually about yes you can do it yes you can push forward if you've got that little inner voice in your head trying to limitate or trying to restrict you or trying to say no you can't do this and all of that it's turning that off and it's amplifying the energy of yes because yes is about springing into action things aren't going to happen they're not going to materialize on their own so it does require your energy so yes is giving you that permission if you feel like you need it to move forward. So that's a really cool card actually this week. And with the cycle of new beginnings, it's all interlinking perfectly. So fabulous. Going to leave it with you. Hope it resonates. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll catch up with some of you lovelies very soon. I just want to say, guys, a, people, a couple of people were messaging me yesterday saying that I'm tripping up on my words quite a lot. It's not because I'm drunk. It's not because I'm sort of overdone it with spirit. It's because I've got hay fever. And I, even though I've got a load of lotions and potions that I'm using on the go, there's a lot of pollen that I keep going, catching down my throat at the moment. So if any of you are thinking, oh, Mitch is a bit tipsy on his videos, it's just 
pollen okay and if any of you guys know how to deal with it because i use a cream around my nose and all down my throat i take collodial silver to help internally in the throat i also use various oils and lotions and potions essential oils um and sometimes i do have to resort to hardcore tablets local honey i use that i'm literally doing everything i can but sometimes it's just one of those unfortunate things. But I just wanted to put the record straight on that because I had a few people sort of messaging me and it's lovely that you did inquire about me. But no, I'm not drunk, I'm not tipsy, I've not overdone it with spirit. It's just literally, um, it's just hay fever, unfortunately. It's the, uh, the negative side of coming into this time of year. But I'm going to leave it with you and remember, say yes to those things that you want to do, that you can do and that you know you're entitled to be doing. Love and blessings. Catch you all soon. Bye for now.